Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something I've been putting off since I got this truck, and that is I'm gonna be taking off this original Ford grill and replacing it with this Morimoto grill. Now, this grill's got a few extra lights on it, I know, but I love lights, and it looks really OEM in my opinion. So it doesn't add too much bling or flash, but it just adds a little bit of extra, you know, pizzazz to the, to the front end of this truck. So, I've got a free Saturday, no kids. The wife took them out. So I'm gonna get started taking the original grill off, which is probably gonna take half a day because Ford puts 8,000 bolts and little plastic fasteners all over the front of this thing. So really all you need is a ratchet and some metric sockets and some patience, but I'm gonna get this thing taken off and then I'll show you the Morimoto grill and then hopefully get that put on today. Okay, Okay. well, there's about 16 of these little clips that I have to take off. And this kind of rubber piece covering the front, you gotta take this off, then you gotta take this front bumper piece off, the headlights off. You know, Ford doesn't make it very easy, but enjoy the music and I'll put you on a time lapse. Okay, well, ladies and gents, that uh, that wasn't terrible. I had I did have a heck of a time getting that headlight back in, but I don't think that's anything due to the grill. I think that's the way Ford built it. Now the next thing is I got to get this front trim piece hopefully installed. Yeah, this isn't gonna be fun. And look at that, no bolts left over, yet. <laughs>
Yep, now I can officially say I have no bolts or fasteners left over. Okay, now I know this is a pretty bad angle with the sun and the shade, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the truck cleaned up and then I'll show you what this looks like at night. And uh, I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Well, all right, gang, that is my little install of the Morimoto XBG grill. Ford makes it quite difficult to remove the original OEM grill, but actually putting the Morimoto grill on is an absolute snap. Um, I hate, honestly, working on my vehicles, and this was very, very simple. Plug and play, the wiring harness that comes with it just, just works. It was very easy. Now, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I think it looks pretty cool, and it just adds a little bit of pizzazz to the truck, a little bit of, little bit of umph. So I really couldn't be any happier with it. And when I did order this, I had the choice of ordering the white LEDs or the amber LEDs if you have like a Raptor style Ford. It'll match the, the DRLs of the headlights. So they've got a lot of options to pick from and it's just a pretty seamless fit. And even without the lights, I actually like the grill more than the OEM Ford grill. So, so kind of a win-win, uh, both instances, if I don't have the lights on, the grill looks cool too. So again, I'm happy with it. I think it looks pretty sweet. So yeah, truck camper upgrade number four and a half, I think. I don't know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week out on another adventure. Take care.